I thought I would just do a quick um, end of the quarter wood challenge video. So we have less, I think less than two weeks left, something like that, around two weeks. And I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an extension for one week. So we're going to call it June 7th for the deadline because um, just because it's the first year and I know there's people out there that are probably kind of rushing to get it done or thinking about rushing to get it done. And I just want to emphasize again, as always, that, you know, it's much more important that you come out of the process and the whole project unscathed. You know, it's way more important than that you actually get it done. So be careful out there and, um, you know, no one's going to judge you much if you don't finish what you started or whatever, you know, especially if you've done a bunch of work already, whatever, you know, I, I said that from the beginning, it's a lot to take on, especially if you're not already a fairly skilled axeman. I mean, I think the three people that finished already had, you know, a reasonable degree of skill when they started. That's just to be expected. So um, what else did I want to say? Okay, so what you need to do when you finish it is um, send me either a picture or a video. Um, it's pretty easy to set up a YouTube account and just even if you're just going to post one video. So I prefer that you did that. If we can't work that out, then maybe we can figure out how to upload a file and then I can download it and post it or something like that. Uh, send me that. Uh, you can use the contact link for at skillcult.com to send me stuff. And I would also love, I think everyone would like to know which tools you used and anything that you want to say about what you learned and the whole experience, um, anything, anything related to the experience, I think people would really appreciate if you want. I still have some wood to cut for mine. I think I have a full three ricks like I had last year, but I cut one of them is uh, mostly wood about 10 to 12 inches, probably 12 inches average for this little tiny stove I have. And I know that sounds insane and it kind of is insane. Oh well, so what? And so I probably am shy of a cord still. Like if I did another half a rick, I can make it to an actual real cord quantity of wood, but I've chopped as much as I chopped last year. The thing set up is like cut a quarter wood, but or a half a cord. And remember that too, you can cut just a half a cord. You know, I'm letting people cut anything from like 24 inches down. So, you know, that's a like, there's a big difference in the amount of cutting between cutting 24 inch lengths and cutting like 16 inch lengths or something like that. And also I have to make patches and axe drops. The strops I'm gonna make like after I know how many people <clears throat> are doing it and then the patches I have like another project where I want to make some engraving tools um, just to make that and we're going to forge those and that's going to be a fun project so I got to do that um, after the, the challenge is over sometime in June I'll, I'll try to do that. Yeah don't expect to get stuff in the mail right away when it's done it could be who knows it could be months but uh, hopefully before next year's export would challenge you know, for real. Be safe out there remember a lot of accidents Car accidents happen on the home stretch or when you're trying to finish something up real quick that you're almost done with and you get careless and sloppy. So be careful, more important, that you come out unscathed and uninjured than that you actually finish the thing. Because I would feel bad if you rush your way through it and end up with an injury. Okay? Chop on.